Hey guys and welcome to welcome back to my channel. My name is Coda. If you don't know me and if you do know me, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be looking over here because I have a mirror here. I blew up my hair because after my protective style, like I feel like after a protective style my hair always needs a trim because it just needs a trim. And like being mixed with other hair, like my ends just aren't always in the best condition after. I wore a white shirt on purpose so that we can see my hair, but my hair has grown so much. Like, first of all, it's so thick. It goes down to about here now. And I don't want to do too much with this trim because my hair has actually been flourishing. Like, I want to continue to allow it to flourish. But it also needs a trim so that the split ends don't, you know, split up and cause breakage. So, while I trim my hair, we are just going to talk about some things and chop it up. Really and truly. So, let's start off with what's most recent. Oh, I can include clips. I'm going to move to the side so I can include my clips on the side. So, um, it's crazy to feel, you know, to be here right now and feel this moment, but, uh, I told myself I'm not going to talk too much tonight, I'm just going to enjoy this moment with my friends and my family. So let's get to it. No harm, let's get to the next one, let's do it, come on. I would not be the artist I am if it wasn't for you. And that's not like even some, but like, but like, but like, 
that's not even some like uh, like you know I get on stage with people and I'm nice sometimes, but this is really actually like my favorite artist in the world. Like I love this guy. But I want to say this though, like we were talking about the history of just this city and like the best we've ever felt, like the the moments that mean the most to me when I try and attach a memory to music. I just want to say you built us up so much as a city with everything that you've given us. So. It's, a, it's, a, it's a one of those summers, you know? I'm gonna leave you to it. I go by the name of Drake. Thank you for having all of us. right next door i went to the party and friends event in toronto at history i didn't vlog because literally that day was so chaotic like oh i forgot my scissors one second that day was literally so chaotic because i took the bus and train from where i work which is in the east and I went straight to my boyfriend's house to get my life sorted and together there. And then we were just gonna go to the show together. But like that day felt so fast. There's literally so much happening. And I didn't even like realize that I was actually going to the show until we were in line because the show was such a last minute thing. I didn't even realize it was this week until like Tuesday and the show was on Thursday so it was just like a lot happening basically so yeah I get to my boyfriend's house before I even get there I'm literally doing my makeup in the car on the way there <laughs> like <laughs> bumps and all doing a full face makeup <laughs> using my phone camera but you know, desperate times, desperate, me desperate measures, goodness. But the show was literally so good. There were so many artists that came on stage. Savannah Ray, who I saw at Toronto Jazz Fest. Boy Wanda did two sets. Roy Woods, Magic Jordan, Party of course, Drake. <laughs> um, and then there were some up and coming artists. So there was this one his name was lavish and then i feel like i'm missing somebody but i genuinely do not know who division did i say division i might have anyways so yeah it was just a really good show and i'm glad that i got to experience that the only thing is the wait was so long doors were supposed to open at seven i don't think doors opened until about 8 30 which is crazy because it's not even like that's when the show is supposed to start. The show is supposed to start at 8. But I always know that when shows say they're going to start, they're literally not going to start at the time. The only artist that was on time that I've seen was Joey. Every art other artist that I've seen has not been on time. Um, which is frustrating because like, you know, you have people get excited. They get ready. They spend their time getting ready. Probably, I don't think I've ever gone to a concert in a calm completely calm state but I think it's just like the mix of excitement and like anxiety I don't know like you're just there's just so much going through your head when a concert is coming up you're excited and then you're nervous and then it's like oh my gosh like this person's a real human this is so cool I love your music <laughs> you know um but yeah, anyways, I didn't think it was cool that they had people waiting for so long. Party didn't even come on until close to 10. Because he had, there were different um, openers. Well, they were like a part of the party and friends. So I wouldn't say that they were openers, but they were just the friends portion. 
of it. Um, Boy Wanda set wasn't too great, to be honest. I was a little disappointed. Um, especially because apparently he has a house in, like, my neighborhood. <laughs> That's, that doesn't, that didn't make me more disappointed. But Drake, I just love Drake. Like, seeing Drake come out. He just knows how to, like, I don't know. Drake just gets me. I, I love him. I've always loved him. And I will forever be a Drake fan. I don't think there is much that can change my mind about how I feel about Drake. Ooh, the trim that I just did made my hair look so much better, like, immediately. There's still definitely, like, the parts where you can see through my hair definitely need to be cut. But I'm going to just cut as I see now. Because this is like close to what the shape of my hair would be. I kind of, my hair is kind of in a circle. Or at least that's always the goal for it to kind of be like a circle. Um, I think that shapes my face the best. Okay. But... Sometimes, like, spaces for me means that my hair needs to cut. Or it could just mean, like, my hair's thick. So, like, even if I lift it, like, it's kind of, it doesn't fall. Like, it's in sections. You know what I mean? So, it looks like there's space, but it's not. It's just, like, the hair is just stuck together like that. So. This is what a real trim is. Every other time I cut my hair, it's, and I say it's a trim, it's not a trim. It's literally a haircut and I cut off like three inches of my hair and then I redo the whole like growing out my hair process. This is nice. My hair literally feels so good. Come on. Hang on. <laughs> Let me really show y'all what we were doing. Come on. Come on, hair. Here's how much I had trimmed. It's not a lot, but you know, cutting off even a little bit of dead weight goes a long way. So, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with my hair now. Um, I'm probably gonna braid it up so I can do a braid out tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm also very excited because I'm gonna be seeing The Little Mermaid. And. I'm just very excited. I love the representation is so important to see, even though I'm not like, not to say that the movie's not for me because I'm young, but it's just like, I'm not like a little girl. I can only imagine how cool that must be for them because I remember how it was for me when I saw Princess Tiana. So, and this is live action. So it's like a real black girl. Not that y'all get what I mean. That doesn't mean Tiana is a real, she's not. But, like, it's, it's a different experience because it's like, oh, like, I can watch interviews of you and stuff. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, I think that is the end of this video. This is going to be a really short one. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, homies. Bye. Bye hey hey Look at your city, man. Look at your city, man. Look what you're doing. All right, I'll do the talking at the end. Let's do. Let's do. Give, give us. Give us.